Welcome to another episode of State of the Arts with Kendria Mecca. In this episode, we profile Najee Dorsey, founder of Black Art in America. In 2010, I'm in Chicago at the home of uh, Nelson and Alice Scott, they avid collectors, members of Diaspora Rhythms, a collectors group in Chicago. And we sitting around chopping it up, you know, doing what we do, you know, breaking bread and, you know, talking about art, talking about collecting, talking about the industry. And, you know, and, and we got to talking about, you know, the challenges that exist for, um, for, you know, for our industry and for artists of color. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm sitting around, I'm like, you know what, you know, you know, we could do something about this, you know, new technology. I know a few people that can write, you know, that can blog, that could um, do videography. And uh, so, you know, at that point, you know, I just kind of took it upon myself to say, you know, this is this is this would be something that I want to put a little effort into. And, you know, there was the beginning of Black Art in America. As you know, Black Art in America is one of the sponsors for State of the Arts, which gives us some exclusive access, and Naji was kind enough to give us an exclusive tour of some of Atlanta's most elite institutions for African American art. We visited Clark Atlanta University, Hammond House, Southwest Center for the Arts, and we got to meet some really influential movers and shakers on the art scene today. So stay tuned for more of that. But first, let's find out how Najee Dorsey went from being a self-taught artist in an Arkansas storefront to being the entrepreneur behind the largest social network and resource for African American visual artists. Well, you know, my mom, my mom said says that I've been, you know, drawing since age of five. My earliest memories would probably be in elementary school, you know, drawing in some contests and you know, um, I had a really supportive teacher in, in junior high, Miss Barfield. You know, I, I, I would say I, I, I've often had, you know, talent, but I didn't possess a passion for art until like the late 90s. So I started to exhibit and end up getting connected with this brother Najar, who teaches at Southern Illinois University now. You know, in, in 2005, after, you know, running for city council in my hometown, had a couple traditional brick and mortar businesses, I said, you know what, you know, I put energy and effort and, and, and everything else and had some success, but, you know, just felt it was time to move on. And so, I'm, you know, my wife and I, we moved, packed up the, the pony like the Beverly Hill Village and headed to Atlanta. You know, my cousin <laughs> said it was, a, it was a spot to be, you know, the nigga ride it. people, you know, the, the Negro new nigga ride. <laughs> you know, niggas with money, you know, series of French, but. And I moved to Atlanta, and one of the first places that I came to was the Southwest Art Center. You know, running in, running into this sign on the highway said Southwest Art Center. Me and the wife we had to pull over, so we pull up in the van, very similar to that one, mm -hmm. and make our way in. I mean, we were standing right here, looking out, and this white van just came and just hit hit the hit the brakes, like kind of like hey, and turned <laughs> eased on in on two. Probably left some good marks in the, in the driveway. Pulled on in. <clears throat> and he's like, what's up? <laughs> Art Center? Art Center. And right there, we just start chopping it up. This season is entitled um, mm -hmm. Melanin is Muse. Okay. So we talking about the, the politics, really, of being a, a black artist uh, today, you know, and, and all the things that go into that, the business, the curating, mm -hmm. you know, creating mm -hmm. a market for your work. No post racial, none of that. That's bogus. It's still the same. It's just a little cleaner around the edges, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But as far as um, making valid our compositions and our contributions to the arts, that's still a struggle. And it, mm -hmm. it's, you know, and it just takes us to keep moving forward with progressive work, you know, not work that falls into a cooning, buffooning category, which just gives more fake entertainment and people to, you know, laugh and chuckle. No, we're trying to do serious work that's speaking to a higher consciousness. And that's what the progressive black visual artists, that's where it is. When you're trying to wake up your people, when you're trying to say something, educate and enlighten, that's that's what it is. And unless you, if you ain't on that mission, you know what I mean? I don't know what mission you on, because if that's the case, you're just working retro. You're working backwards, we moving forward. Right. Straight up, black to Right, future. forward together. Tell them a little bit about what, what happens here. Yeah, we're a visual and performing arts center. Um, we have classes for uh, all ages. Uh, drawing and painting, uh, visual arts, uh, dance, theater, music, graphic design, all those classes. We do a summer youth arts camp that's very popular in the area. Four weeks. We do a teen arts academy. That's off the chain, too. It's a teen intensive arts and visual arts, creative writing, dance, music, theater. We 
do a full production and art exhibition with the Teen Academy off the chain. One of the things, you know, Brian also curates a lot of the shows that takes place over at the Performance Art Building. We do um, not only plays, productions, concerts. We had uh, Dick Gregory here in 2012, turned it out. Last Poets 2012 also. Um, we just had Dr. Umar Johnson, uh, Professor Griff, uh, Chike Akua. They did a, a lecture here a few, about a month or so ago. Um, we have exhibitions. We just did an, art, an exhibition for R. U. Banks. Rest in peace, R. U. Banks. He has an exhibition of his repasse work. <clears throat> we have that up now for viewing. We're getting ready for a high school, middle school, South Fulton County High School Middle School Art Competition in this building um, on March 14th. You can get in touch with us at uh, www.fultonarts.org. Phone number here, 404-613-3220. Uh, and uh, we're 915 New Hope Road, Southwest Arts Center, Atlanta, Georgia. Special shout to Brian and all the folks over at the Southwest Art Center for all the hard work that they do cultivating a love for the art, especially among youth. Starting a business in art or technology can be risky business, so we couldn't let Najee just tell us the positive. We talked about some of the challenges he faced building his global brand. I know if we get it. You know, I'm on the phone getting ready for I uh, Do You Basel campaign, and, you know, I call up, and, you know, we take turns changing out the site, and I told him, I said, you know, listen, don't worry about changing out the site this week. You know, I'm launching this new campaign, Do You Basel, to get people down to Miami for this whole Art Basel experience. And she was like, well, you know, how are you going to launch a campaign without telling me? You know, I said, well, you know, I'm the, you know, I'm the founder, I'm the president of the company, I'm the majority stakeholder. You know, I mean, really, your, your role is to help me with the creatives and admin and help, you know, help me, you know, drive this thing in terms of fulfilling the vision that I have for the company. And she didn't, you know, she didn't take too kindly with that. I hang up the phone, go to the website, next thing I know, I'm locked out. <laughs> I'm locked out of I'm locked, locked out, of, out of your own I'm locked out of community that you started. My own company, you know, and I took it to court and, 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 and won, you know, handedly. And so now, you know, I own, you know, I've always owned the domain and the company, but, you know, I'm, I'm reestablished re back at, in, in my position. And, you know, now, you know, everything's been pretty much smooth sailing. We had to, re you know, relaunch a whole new network, September 2012. Um, but since that time, you know, our numbers have grown. I mean, at that time, we were at 9,700 members. Now we're at like 14,000, 15,000. Um, at that time, when we had to dismount on the, the first Facebook page, we were at 30-some thousand members. Uh, now, I mean, 30-some thousand likes. Now we're over 62,000 likes. So, you know, you know, the company has really grown in, in spite of a few challenges and, and, and in spite of a few, a few setbacks, you know. We've never had a major corporate sponsor, you know, to, to fund what we do. So anything that's been done has been done based on the fact that I've been a successful artist, you know. And so, you know, not only do we provide a space for members to upload work and network with other people, but those same benefits that are offered to any member, I've been able to benefit from myself. And because I've gotten greater exposure, I've been able to offer greater exposure to other artists. We got 60,000 people on Facebook that like the page. We want to convert those likes into members. We have a very engaged audience, but we want to exp excuse me, expand our audience. So if you're looking for great art, www.shopbuyonline. You know, we represent the work of a number of established artists. We've got a great platform to, to, to move things forward. We've got, you know, more events lined up this year. Hey guys, it's your girl Kendria Mecca. I'm here at Mech Tech Studios editing down this episode of State of the Arts. It is a pleasure to bring you this kind of programming and I definitely give a big shout out to Najee. We're going to get back to him in just a moment telling you all about the wonderful things that Black Art in America is going to be bringing you both in person and online. But I wanted to encourage you to check out all month long Black Art in America and IndieStreets.com. Why? Because there's so much more that we did in Atlanta that we can't show you in this episode, but it's still really important. We saw a beautiful, provocative, thought-provoking, conversation-starting exhibition at Clark Atlanta called KKK, Kin Killing Kin. We also visited Hammond House and did a studio visit with Kevin Cole. 
follow the hashtags, comment, and if you have an artist that you think we should be profiling, let me know. As a matter of fact, even better, tell them to join Black Art in America. You join Black Art in America, and we can all be friends. But uh, definitely share artists that you think are worth a click, that you think we should be profiling. I want to know what you think about the job that I'm doing with this series. Comments, criticisms are all welcome. So let's get back to Najee. Thanks for joining us for this episode of State of the Arts. Crystal Bridge is shaking up the art world with having the resources, Walmart Air, to, to go out and acquire any and every piece of significant work um, that's, 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 that's available. The that key is, is huge. The key is now is when we go to Bentonville is establishing the relationship and the line of communication to let them know, hey, we got artists. We are artists of color that need to be in the permanent collection of these institutions, and we want to build the bridges to start that process now. But I've got a really important show coming up uh, for myself. It's going to be um, at the Columbus Museum of Art in Columbus, Georgia. You know, there's something really special going on there. They've got a tremendous, tremendous collection of work by African-American artists. And you know how rare it is for, you know, artists like ourselves to be seen and, and, and um, presented at a number of these majority museums. And so Columbus is forward thinking. You know, I'm planning a big party. This is my big solo museum show coming out party, August 21st. We're spending the entire weekend in Columbus, jam-packed with activities. Come hang out with your boy. Come hang out with Najee. Let's celebrate. What's that date? August 21st, 2014. Be there. Come celebrate with me. In so, these streets will be there. In these streets will be there. Thanks for joining me for this episode of State of the Arts. The next episode is April 13th on InTheStreets.com and Black Art in America. You can follow these hashtags on social media for more artists that are worth a click. As always, it's your girl, Kendria Mecca, In These Streets.